over. Last mission, last mission. The final boss mode. But yeah, I mean, that's that, <laughs> you know. Um, we have two other, you know, we have two other fights that are coming up, newer fights that come up this weekend. Uh, the first one I'll get into is the return of the Mandingo Warrior. Why you picked that name? I don't know, but the Mandingo Warrior, James Kirkland. Now, when you hear the name James Kirkland, it's just, you know, basically you get two words. Wasted potential. Wasted potential. James Kirkland is one of those is one of those fighters where if he's if he's mentally and physically on point, dude will dude puts on performances that are out of this world. Uh, courtesy of course of you know Ann Wolf. Ann Wolf, James Kirkland, uh, it's a t- that's the team right there. You know, without you know, peanut butter without the jelly, ham without the burger type of deal. You know what I'm saying? And, and even on their worst night, they still won. So that's how amazing that duo is. And I'm referring to the Carlos Molina fight. Right. And at that point, I mean, Car- Mar- Car- Car- Which was wasn't going- supposed to happen, to tell you the truth. Yeah, no, it was not supposed to happen. And then, like I said, it, it, I mean, you know it's bad when Ann An Wolf is probably one of the most truthful people in boxing today. You know, when you have her on camera talking about Molina won, and uh, uh, Molina was, was the winner, and, you know, she meant that because it was Kirkland didn't look, Kirkland looked bad in that fight. I mean, he did knock down Molina, and then Molina did knock on him, but that was called a slip for whatever reason. And then, of course, that fight... Uh, he won by DQ because Molina's corner man, idiot corner man, entered the ring a little bit too soon. You know, which I, which pissed me off to no end too, because I was like, "What the dog? What the fuck? I want to see the fuckery complete." You know, uh, but yeah, like I said, but even, but even though the the, the performances that Kirkland is known for, he has two: the um, the Angulo fight. The Angulo fight is, if you have seen, Angulo at, at one point was a top prospect at 154. He was a feared prospect. He was brutal. He was a, he was a brutal finisher. Yeah, he, he, was, he was supposed to be like Margarito 2.0. Yeah, he was knocking off other top prospects with no problem. You know, the only, more, the only group, more refined Margarito. Yeah, two, yeah more 2.0. <laughs> Yeah, I mean his his only his only glitch was against Cintron in a fight where allegedly that um, Angulo was sick and then Cintron had the, his rare moment of discipline and boxed Dude's head off. That, that was really like, he, he, you know, because he always lost to uh, you know Margarito 1.0. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he can't lose he, So he, he's like, yeah, I gotta beat the damn improvement. Fuck that. Right, but that's more, his most cherished win. Right, and then Angulo goes in there as the favorite for I think I think he's the slight favorite, and they put on one of the greatest opening rounds in boxing, the first round, and then after that was just like a beatdown of the highest order, where Angulo in Mexico, all places, yeah, in Mexico, you know, and you know, pretty much the ref had no choice because Angulo was about to go down, he was not going to get up. You know where the ref stopped that fight, and Kirk and this and it was just an example of Kirkland looking like an elite fighter. And the other one, which is even a little bit, which is even more disturbing, was his fight against Glenn Tapia. Glenn Tapia was a prospect. He was a top prospect too at 160, um, 154 and 160. They uh, brought so Kirkland was, in as the opponent. Yeah, and Kirkland had you know was had in this corner for this one. And Kirkland proceeded to ruin the kid with a horrific beating. You know, oh, it was a steady, horrific beating that should have been stopped earlier. And yeah, it, it wasn't. started out competitive, but I feel like it's what Trinidad uh, David Reed would have been if, yeah. like, um, it, like if it would have been stopped. Right. Yeah, and then um, yeah, it was uh, it was that type of fight. <laughs> and, and, and this one was way more brutal to watch. Right? Way more brutal. I can't even watch. I it. said like, if I mean, it was I to can't. be stopped. 
I mean, cause you gotta remember Trinidad, like Trinidad, t- t- Trinidad, David Reed. That shit was like brutal, and it was stressed out. Like it was like a horror movie that just went and end. Like you think these niggas get away, and then like boom, it just keep at you, and you're almost like, okay, I like shut it off, shut it off. Like yeah. this ain't done yet. Kirkland, yeah, yeah. Kirkland, um, Tapia. That shit was more some like. The movie ended right at the scariest fucking part. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that's it. Like y'all don't want, y'all don't need no more. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It, 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 like it looks at me. If you haven't seen it, you know, I'd say you know it's out there on YouTube, and you know, you'll, you'll probably be cringing at the amount of punishment that Tapia took in that bite in that fight. And you know, Tapia was ruined. He was he was ruined. He was sent to the point of no return after that one. Uh, so yeah, Kirkland. Those are his elite performances out there. And then you know you have you have this one where he's not elite, but basically the two losses where Anne was not in his corner. The first Ashida. one was to yes yeah, Ashida, and you know Ashida was was a popular role opponent. I mean Ashida is you know he's faced a lot of tough guys, and then we got killed by one of them, which is Triple G. And Ashida, and, my goodness, yeah, that was a, that was a brutal. Yeah. And then Ashida, yeah, I know, I know, I remember too, because I remember Ashida Kirkman was, was it was, a, it was like a prelim fight, because um, I remember too. I mean, the story, I have a story behind it, because I, I was, I, I was having you know, quality time with my lady, and in between like the, the, the quality time sessions, I went onto my computer and I opened up a stream in my room, and I'm over looking at this like, oh, it's Kirkland, you know, it's like, oh, wait, I didn't expect to see nothing, and then. Within about two something minutes, I'm like, like, and like, I'm like, what the fuck? And my lady's like, what? Why? Why are you? Why are you swearing? I was like, it's like Kirkland just got knocked out. I was like, she's like, who's Kirkland? <laughs> and I'm just like, you know, and, I, and I'm over there, thinking, and I'm over there, just like, I was like, how in the world does a light hitting Asian fighter not Kirkland out in the first fucking round? How? How does that happen? Well, because yeah. Kirkland was weight drain, he was fighting too often, too soon. As soon as he got out of prison, and Aaron he had wasn't to fight in the like maybe twenty nine days or, or less than a month before. Like, I remember staying up late, like, to see that fucking fight. It was on one of those um, kind of on one of those Spanish channels on TV. Oh yeah, you went. Yeah, I remember. I just, oh, I just opened up a straight stream and actually watched it on my computer at the time because I didn't have. I did not. I had cable, but not cable in my room, so I had no choice. I had to do that. Um, <clears throat> and then after that one, you know, I mean, while it was a disappointing loss, it was like, okay, and needs to be in this corner. The second loss, which is the reason why he went on a little uh, get away from the sport, was to Canelo. Now we are all now pretty much the majority is like, if Ann was in Canelo's corner for that fight in the corner, in Kirkland's corner. In Kirkland's corner there would have been like a 40-50% chance that Canelo would have gotten KO'd. Not just beaten, but he would have gotten KO'd. You know. But unfortunately, Kirkland did not give himself a best chance to win. I mean, and was, they, they were beefing again. And, and was at the fight, and then Kirkland got knocked out in three rounds or by Canelo. And then went on a little hiatus somewhere with his money. Um, so now you have a 35-year-old James Kirkland, who who I think has won like two fights in his comeback since then, and he's signed with PBC, um, facing uh, Marcos Hernandez, whose claim of fame was holding our current super welterweight champion Jason Rosario to a draw in their first fight and then losing by knockout in the second fight. So it's pretty much just going to be like what. So, but honestly, with James Kirkland, if he loses, then you know the ball game is over, really. Like, yeah, it's, it's, it, this is a uh, game over, not to be continued. Yeah, this is the end of the road. Yeah, you know, it's too too many years, too many years missed, too much wasted potential, wasted pride. Yeah, motherfucker has, no, motherfucker, motherfucker has no coin. Fuck it, gotta <laughs> gotta stop playing. <laughs> gotta go home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, no, yeah. yeah, and, and we're, we're all rooting for Kirkland because, like, like, I mean, thirty-five years old. I mean, it's an advanced age. And well, who, who is trainer now, though? Like, who's his trainer? Like, 
Is it still have, Ann Wolf or somebody else? Uh, no, somebody put, a, somebody put an APB out on Ann Wolf, yeah, because it's not Ann Wolf. So it's not Ann Wolf. So and this is yeah. why I say like like there's there's an actual there's a very good chance that Kirkland may be KO'd by Hernandez. Hernandez only has three KOs in his in his fights over like, in twenty something fights. It's not a, he's not a, he's not a, he's, not a, he's not a heavy puncher. But I could see a neither, KO. Yeah, ne- neither neither was Ishida. Exactly. So, So I mean, so basically, whoever's training Kirkland is gonna be like, yeah, you, you got at least you, you, you got to do this so you can actually because I mean, basically, I think the role for Kirkland is he's gonna cash out against somebody. We just don't know who just yet or what division. Um, I mean, one fifty four got names, so and they're prime fighters. And you know, Kirkland, like I said, Kirkland could could has the ability to beat somebody, but we just don't know. If he can, actually. yeah, 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 or or he could be, we could see him beaten badly, like badly, fuck. So yeah, yeah, you know, it, 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 like I said, it sucks too because it's like I mean, just cause he has this role, and you, you actually want to see him do good, but like I said, just too many, too many wasted years, too many wasted years. Um, and you know, mismanagement because you know he ain't get a title shot until too late, really. Right, you know, I after know, the Angulo had, fight, he, you know, he was supposed to get a title fight issues. after that. Yeah, he also had legal issues too. Like, yeah, yeah, that too, you know. But you know, it's like one of those fighters that you know, I mean, he ain't get all the best breaks, but he ain't make himself like he ain't give himself, you know, the best shot too. Like, right, exactly, like the Canelo fight. Yeah, and and just you know, I'm saying like the legal troubles as well. Like, imagine not having that, and you still have the same type of, and you know, imagine not having that, and you still have your career. Mm-hmm. You know, that would have made some improvement. Yeah, you know, might have yeah. never got that Ashita loss if he didn't go to jail. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because he had a whole comeback to do that. Then he had to have another comeback, so. I mean, you know, you can't keep coming back. You know, that's why P said, you know, this like that last token. You know, you keep digging in your pocket and you just getting lint and lint and lint. And then you say, oh, shit, one more. Yep. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's a dirty, it's dirty out there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, but, uh, yeah, but no I, mean, I, I mean, I mean, I, I can't make a uh, as much as I want to go Kirkland. Uh, it's tough, man. He's thirty-five years old. I don't know how much he has left. And he's a, he and he's a thirty. Much and, he's a 30 and, and, he, and he's a thirty-five-year-old with a lot of tear on his tires. But uh, then again, we just saw this against with Chacotito. So. Uh, maybe he has a Chocolatito moment. Yeah, I mean, against Hernandez. I mean, Chocolatito had a had a moment against someone who's a top fighter. Hernan- Marcos Hernandez is not a top fighter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you need a Chocolatito moment for this level. It's like, damn. Say that for when you get the money fight. <laughs> true. Exactly. True. Yeah, true. But you know, if he's really on the comeback, he should have more than just one yeah. top moment left. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, I, I just, I just one. don't know, I just don't know how much he has left. He's been, he's been in wars. So. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's a, he's an old thirty-five, but thirty-five isn't young either. So. Yeah, not at all. Yeah. So it's, uh, I mean, we're, we're all war room from like, I mean, personally, like I said. I mean, I don't. I don't think he will win this fight, Kirkland. Um, oh, I want him to prove me wrong, though. Uh, <sighs> I'm still thinking. I'm still thinking. Do I want to? Do I want to go with Kirkland? Do I want to? Uh, mm-hmm. Fuck. 